Okay, you can see my slides? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the, the Transmart 19.1 release. We've been working on it for a, a couple of years now. Uh, some parts of it have, have been announced some time ago. Um, we're pretty much good to go. We're waiting for a final sign off. So I'll, I'll show you where it is, but it's not fully linked to the top page yet. So if you come down from the top of the uh, Transmart pages, you'll, uh, you'll not find it yet. Uh, so we support uh, Postgres up to Postgres 15.3. We still support it back to 9.5, which is what we've always supported on uh, Transmart. Uh, I noticed this week Postgres 16 came out. I don't think there'll be any problems with it, but we'll give it a test and uh, let everyone know when we've tried it. We've tested on Oracle from 12.2 up to 19.3, and uh, those were all running fine. We've also updated um, the database. so. Transmart and ITB2 have been similar for many years, but we've now added all of the ITB2 tables. So you get a full ITB2 uh, 1.7.13 in a Transmart database now. We've added the procedures, the tables, and wherever Transmart and ITB2 might use the same table, like query handling, we've split them out. So uh, Jeff presented that at uh, AMIA uh, last year, I think, the year before. So now we can run Transmart and ITB2 on the same database, if you dare. Um, it tends to be cleaner to just, just run one of them. Uh, we've moved some of the tables into ITB2 metadata from demo data. We've added all the other schemas that ITB2 has that Transmart currently doesn't use, but maybe we should start sharing some of those. Uh, we've standardized IT Transmart tables to use the default column width for observation fact and so on that uh, ITB2 does. That may give Transmart users an issue, but you can increase the column widths to whatever you use locally for, say, subject IDs. And we have tested loading the demo data on a, a Transmart database, and that was working. Uh, data loading. We had some issues with large data sets in the past. Um, they would run really slowly. A University of Michigan reported one that took 30 days. Um, that one loads now in uh, in an hour or less. Uh, we found a number of speed ups and, uh, and implemented those. So general data loading should be much, much faster for, for many cases. Uh, we've added a single script to install all the data for a study. So it finds the clinical data, gene expression, RNA-seq um, platforms, and everything else for the study, and then loads them in the right order and gives you a summary at the end. If you've got multiple um, platforms, multiple data types, or maybe several gene expression platforms, um, there's now a single target that loads them. We used to have to rename things to work around it. We're up to Kettle 9.3 for loading the, um, the data. I tested 9.4, and that, that didn't work. I haven't tested 9.5 yet to see if it's fixed. Uh, there were some third-party data loading tools that people have used in the past, but the providers have not been maintaining those. Um, but we can help you with repackaging your data to load via Kettle. It's generally very straightforward unless you're using any special uh, tricks. Uh, we've improved our RNA seq data to handle zero counts properly. They were treated as nulls before, but you really do know there's nothing. Uh, we've upgraded R to version 4.3. Uh, there were a few issues there to be fixed. Um, changes in R that affected the results of workflows. We rewrote the heat map display, something University of Michigan asked us for, and uh, they are way clearer now. It was really worth doing. Thank you very much, Zach and uh, Becky and co for that suggestion. Uh, we've added some configuration variables for uh, processing. There is a page in Transmart now that tells you all the configuration variables that you have. So if anything happens, you can look up everything you've configured and see if anything's causing a problem. Um, at the end of the page, it gives you the ones it doesn't know about, which maybe I've, I've seen it for SAML access, where it's just things that the configuration didn't know about that get added by SAML. But otherwise, any misprints turn up at the bottom of the table. Um, we've done some uh, various cleanups, updated the metadata, and there are some utility scripts there for migrating databases um, and for other tasks. Uh, if you want to test on established data from Gene Expression Omnibus, there are now around 800 curated studies. There used to be about 300 from the Etrix project mainly. There are now a lot more from the COVID projects that we were doing with Dell. And there are two servers where you can get these things from 
uh, one from Axiomedics and one from uh, the foundation. When you're um, debugging data loading, one of the issues we had with these long data loads was that if the data load crashes or you stop it, um, Transmart audits things into a table in the database and you lose your data load, but you also lose all the audit messages. So you can now simply set a, a variable in the database and it will write to the Postgres log at the same time as it writes to the audit log in uh, the database. The nice thing there is the Postgres log message goes straight away. So you can see exactly where you've got to, where you'd failed and get all the analytical information as well. Um, we can help of Axiomedics with uh, any data loading issues that you might have or data curation, especially if you're migrating from one of the older uh, data loading systems. And some links for uh, finding the release. You could guess if you look for 19.0 and just change the zero to one, that's the URL. Um, we have curated studies on the Axiomedics server and on the, the foundation, and we're preparing Docker images for the database, uh, the web client, um, Solar and RServe, and for data loading. Um, they will be uh, finalized with the release and put up on Docker. And just some thanks to uh, Dell for funding, to the guys at Michigan for wonderful testing and suggest not only suggestions for improvement, but they sometimes give me the code as well and say, could you put this in? And to the foundation and uh, the other guys at Axiomedics, uh, Keith Elliston is, is there with you and will be by the poster. So you can ask Keith any questions and if he can't answer, he knows how to find me. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Peter. Uh, much appreciated. We're not going to be doing questions after these because we hope that you'll either connect with the folks at their posters or connect with the folks while you're here and you can get those questions answered. Um, I'll stop sharing because all the URLs are on the poster. You can go and uh, okay. pick them up from there. And we'll send you the, you've got the PDF, I'll send you the slides.